But day three, the major is finally here, and with only six teams left to go by the end of tonight, we'll only have three teams left. So, let's take a look at today's schedule brought to you by Monster. <coughs> so, we're starting out between Arizona and Toronto. Then, we're going to play Atlanta versus Boston. Then, we're going to go up to our winner's final, play New York versus Oakland. And then we're going to come down to play the winner of Atlanta, Boston, and Arizona, and Toronto. That will end off today's schedule, brought to you by Monster. So it's going to, you know, kind of die, you know, digest what has exactly happened throughout this major. It's been uh, th two full days packed of action so far. And, well, honestly, I wouldn't even want to know what to do if there was 2014 double OM. So there's the bracket. It's been quite entertaining. We got to see tomorrow finished off between Chicago and Boston. What a hell of a rivalry match. Now, looking at the Atlanta-Boston match that's supposed to be coming up next, that's going to be interesting. It's a rematch of the 2021 um, finals, and that's actually what got Boston their second ship of the year, and the third, obviously, is versus Orlando. So both, so the first major, or well, the first, I guess, championship is Boston versus um, Chicago, and the second. So the past two ships have been taken from the western division as well so two western teams have both made both or well both southern teams have made the finals and now it's kind of the the western teams dominating the majors here but let's kind of look at the the western teams we only have arizona and oakland left so let's kind of look at the divisions here we have two teams from the east new york and boston okay we got two teams from the south or sorry two teams from the west we got oakland and arizona we got or actually no we got three teams from the east excuse me we got three Eastern teams coming out of Toronto, uh, New York, and Boston. Two uh, Western teams, Oakland and Arizona, and then the Seoul Southern team. So Atlanta can run it back, but they have to go through Boston. Then Arizona versus Toronto. That should be a good one here, but Arizona loses. It's only down to Oakland to go ahead and see if they can get the repeat here. Well, at least because they won Major 2, Arizona won Major 3, so both major winners are in here. Boston is looking to pick up their first of the year as well. But in most of the case, it's three Western teams. So regardless, it's looking like a Western team, or well, sorry, an Eastern team. So it's looking like the Eastern Division team has the highest chance of coming out of here. But keep in mind, the loser of New York and Oakland still have another chance. They are not knocked out immediately. They will be playing the winner of our final match of the day, which would be the winner of uh, Atlanta, Boston, Arizona, Toronto. When those two winners face off, they'll be playing the loser of the winner's final. So tomorrow we got two series on tap, possibly three. The reason I say three is in case there's a bracket reset, how a bracket reset works if the team from the lower division or if a team from the from the lower wins, then um I think from the losers bracket wins, they have to play, you know, the the team from the losers bracket has to win two best of sevens, while the team from winners only has to win one. So if the team from losers wins the first Best of seven, and it's basically win or go home for both teams. Um, but anyways, with that being said, the question is what team can defend it? We are playing on the New York Time as well, on uh, on the New York Time zone, so the Eastern Time zone. So I guess the there's no necessarily a home team of the major. There was home teams last year. But if, if there was a, a set candidate, it would probably be Boston was going to be this major. Major one was uh, Los Angeles, actually. That was like the, I guess, planned team that was chosen from the blind draw. The second one was Dallas, and the third one was Boston. So Boston has an opportunity to win at their quote-unquote home major here, but also at the same time, they have an opportunity for an Eastern team to win, so it's not going to be all bad. I mean, it might start a rivalry here, but it's going to cause nothing too bad here. So let's get into our match predictions here, brought to you by Monster Energy as well. We got um, we got Arizona and Toronto. This is going to be a hard one. Again, Arizona is looking to go ahead and go for a repeat major win. Toronto is looking to go ahead and bring rain to the north. Uh, or rain to the east, excuse me, and also on top of that, bring down Arizona and bring down another Western team in their path. Toronto did lose to New York, so Toronto wants an opera, probably wants another opportunity at New York itself, so they would hope that New York would lose and uh, that Toronto can get the win versus the next team here. Very interesting situation. If Boston and Toronto win, it's going to be, uh, be a rematch of losers round uh, two, or winners round two, excuse me, or Boston and Toronto faced off. Toronto got the edge on that in five. So we'll see if we can possibly get a rematch. As I said, Arizona, though, is looking to go out there and get a win. Mm -hmm. 
But if I, if, I'm not choosing a marquee matchup of the day just because that does not seem possible. There's plenty. If I had to actually choose a marquee matchup of the day, I'd probably have to go with New York or Oakland just because of how you know fun that is. But so far, the major has been you know really fun. Again, obviously tomorrow the major is going to start at 9 a.m. Eastern, or sorry, it's going to start at 10 a.m. Eastern. Um. It's just depending on time zones, obviously. Like, if both Western teams get knocked out. Obviously, there's still going to be one Western team, so New York and Oakland are guaranteed tomorrow. They're guaranteed tomorrow no matter what. Atlanta, Boston, Arizona, and Toronto, those teams are not safe in any way. And even if they do win, they're still not guaranteed safe. They have to play a match at the end of the day to guarantee if they will be playing tomorrow. So, by the end of tonight, three teams will be going home. Three teams will be... Three teams will be going home, one team would be advancing to the ma- uh, to the major final, and then two teams will have to clash tomorrow to determine who will finish up that second spot in the major final. So, possible of three best of sevens tomorrow, technically two series, but a third if you want to count it that way. I just think of it as best of sevens, so we got three best of sevens left. So, a max of 21 games after today. So, we got 10 a.m. Eastern. 10 a.m. Eastern, the pregame will start, and at 10.15... We will be underway in our first matchup, which will be our loser's round, um, which will be our loser final to determine who will be going off. And then after that, around 11.15, 11.30, more, more likely than not, about 11 o'clock-ish, we'll be underway in our major final. And then obviously, if there's another best of seven required, we'll be underway around 12. So again, let's look at our best matchup for today. Honestly, let's start to preview this Arizona-Toronto matchup. Let's kind of see how Arizona has gotten here so far throughout this major. Uh, it's going to be very interesting, but Arizona, they started off with the bye. They played Oakland, but lost to Oakland, so then they dropped down to play uh, to play Dallas. They beat Dallas, and they also beat Orlando, which secured them in this spot here. All those have been very close games, except for their 3-0, uh, except for their 3-1 win. And the Arizona-Orlando, that went to 5 and then this is their first best of seven. For the loser side, this is their first best of seven they're going to be playing. Now looking at Toronto, seeing how they got here. Obviously, they had to play versus Dallas in winners round, uh, and, yeah, winners round one. And they had to play Boston, got the win over Boston, lost to New York, and then that's what dropped them down here. That being said, let's go with our match predictions. Let's see if uh, what the fans have casted here, if there has been any uh, fan votes. No fan votes yet. But with that being said... We should almost be all set to go. The teams almost are ready here. It's about almost noon here for them. But as I said, my name is Royce. We'll be walking back in here, and we'll be almost all good and be almost underway. So looking at these two teams again, my prediction is locked in. I have Arizona moving on in the major. I will be playing as Arizona. Toronto looking to play upset. Let's get started. This should be a fun game to play here. Obviously playing in the U.S. East servers for Toronto. Here we go. One team looking to go ahead and advance to keep their major hopes alive. Arizona looking to run it up. Toronto looking to add more rain to the east. We got Toronto. We got Arizona. Up to the booth we go. Let's have some fun because this is Rocket League. And here we go, starting off with DFH Day. And these two teams looking for a best of seven clash. So, I mean, I guess it'll be very determining of how you play it that way. But already getting off to a hot start, right? It's going to take it up to the air. And then again, follow-up shot going to be rejected here. So it might actually be a good play. The pass is going to be coming down to mid. And a good play off the backboard right here. So, so a little miscommunication on the backside there. Pass out. The pass was there, but no attempts done. So we're starting to be rotated back here. And now we're going to go take that one in the air. Race actually already be rotated towards the midfield one. So we're actually going to be already be anticipating a pass, but the pass cannot connect here. So we're just going to send that one. It's going to get the pass there, looking for the pass in traffic, but no. Race actually already got the redirect, so race is already going to be towards the rotation on mid. Already anticipating the shot, but, you know, can kind of work out. So, I'm going to send that one back mid, looking for Carabo, but it's going to be the shot. It's going to be back to Century United. Century United is going to call for it. Again, there's the pinch. The pinch is there. There's already going to be waiting for it. 
and Orr is going to end up corralling that one back to his own side of the pitch, which might cause dire problems in the future. Got in the pass, okay, it's shot, it's quarter, and it's scored, and Kibro scores first, the first goal of the game taken, and it's going to be a goal so far for the side of Arizona. Obviously, in this best of seven here, it is going to be ideal for these teams to go ahead and get a win here out first. But these teams are playing very aggressive. So again, Royce going to hate to be that guy that takes the back boost here. And again, what a whiff coming in by Royce, but, you know, can kind of 50 that, so... I think it's just gonna... And Royce is going to be playing, spoiler. He's going to get the boost there, he's going to be the only one back here. And again, Royce anticipated the shot, but nothing too much there, so Royce already will be hitting that rotation now. Hopefully he can fight up a few boosters here, but because Royce already be rotated back close here. And again, what a whiff there by Royce again. You know, phase four eyes not obviously having the game of his preferred interaction. I meant to put no problem. So okay, no problem. Now Royce is just going to go ahead and clear that one down in the corner, hoping that his team can, teammates can bail him out. And again, Royce already will be rotated. Royce will already be waiting on it. So, so Royce again, he's just going to be waiting for a solid touch. So able to at least get the 50 over. That's going to be where the double touch comes into play. So Royce at least just able to hit that one out of harm's way. Shot going to be corralled. Royce will be playing backside. So good plays there in the defensive half. It's going to be all down to Royce here. Perfect pass. It's going to be the 50 over. And Royce already will be rotated on the backside out. And I think that's going to be like the more intricate thing about this defensive style is you're just going to have to be able to adapt to it. Royce already going to get killed in the back line. Shot going to be at the mid through traffic and just a little bit wide. Royce already again going to be killed on the back. And now the plays are just trying to open up. The demos are here. And Toronto has not come to play. Toronto has certainly not come to play here. And again, Royce going to take the 50 out and opt for the safe play. The plays again will already be on the defensive. Royce already going to take boost in the backside. Royce is going to hope for a good pass up by Peaches. Peaches is going to be Century United here. So again, Royce able to um, somehow make the go-ahead save. And then Royce will have to go ahead and take it himself. So good pinch down the right field line. Again, it's going to be all down to Royce to contest. Royce will just fling it up high. A good demo there comes in. So Royce will just kind of clear that one just for the time being. Nothing too major. The demo play does come in. Royce again is going to have to skirt around. Again, Royce is going to have to play low 50 there. He's going to have to play spoiler. Royce is going to have to jump up on that, get a weight touch on it. He's going to come rotating back the direction he came. Royce, again, obviously missed the boost pad. And now the plays come in. About a minute left here, the demo plays does come in. The cheat, it will be Royce. And again, Royce is trying to get the double. And again, Royce is going to be killed somehow. How did Royce die there? The demos are open on the back line here. And no, Royce cannot make the save, but it will be backside. This follow-up shot will be in. Never mind. What a save. And Peaches will barely save that away. But with only a limited amount of time, it's going to be all down to Royce again. Royce again, just trying to take him out. Royce is going to opt for the pass here. And Royce is going to bomb that one away, hoping for a good read. Royce is obviously going to hit the rotation now, hope for the mid-boost to spawn. 30 seconds to go, Toronto looking to go ahead and... And Royce will, again, will 50 that. Royce will 50 that. And again, here goes Sentry. Sentry trying to hit it up. Royce is going to already be on back post. Contest 50, 20 seconds. You gotta go. You gotta go. It's not over. The shot comes through. And now it's gonna be all down to Royce here on the backside. So. Again, Royce already gonna be waiting here. And the 50, the 50 is not there. Royce already gonna be waiting for the bounce here. And. And that will do it. Game one taken. And wow. What a game one to open up this best of seven. And if it's going to be like this. I don't know. But what a fucking hectic game one there. But looking at our highlights here, game one.
But both these teams here are all set. I mean, hey, hell of a game so far in this best of seven. These teams have already played each other pretty well. And if these teams, if these two teams continue to play like this for the best of the, for the series, this could be a scary one. Game two getting booted up here. Manfield Stormy is your set for game number two of this best of seven. Toronto was falling just short to Arizona, who took the game in a 1-0 fashion. Very contested. We come down to all these two teams to go ahead and figure each other out. Obviously, he's going to have to play. Ray's already going to be aware of the low 50 here. Ray's already going to be on back post. Good follow-up attempt. Ray's just going to be following up on far side. It's going to be back to Edom. Edom going to rip the shot on target. It's going to be saved. Now it's going to be back down to Royce. Royce is going to obviously have to make the play. And again, Royce cannot make the play. So Royce is going to be waiting for an anticipated pass. Shot going to come up right. Ringing off corner. Ringing off corner. And the follow-up is there. And an old pile of wood all set there. Royce did not run interference. I mean, I originally thought, you know, maybe Royce was going to jump up for a late ball. But no. An old pile of wood just made the read. Toronto up 1-0. Two teams playing good sheets. Good sheets. Now it's going to be all down to Royce to slot it. Royce going to find the demo on one, but nothing too much there more. So again, Royce going to be trying to play interference here. And Royce is going to send that one mid, hoping for a good teammate. Royce already going to be on the rotation towards backfield. Royce again, already going to be waiting on the shot, but no, it will be cleared back out. It will be down to Nezzy. Nezzy will be on midfield. It's going to be waiting for JTC American. JTC American going to look for it. And now these teams are starting to be on the rotation back. Shot's going to be contested 50. It's going to be over. Down to an old pile of wood. And now the, you know, kind of contested 50 comes through, right? So Royce at least able to get a touch on. He will try and clear it out of harm's way. Royce is actually going to go for the boost take. Shot going to be all the way through traffic. It's going to be all coming down to Royce here. And now it's going to be back down to an old pile of wood. Royce is going to also have to hit that rotation. But we'll try his best to go for a good demo play here. I'm going to get to 50. And again, uh, you know, Royce is just going to be waiting for a pass by Edom. And again, the good contest of 50 will be cleared back. Royce already will be hit on the rotation towards backfield. Royce trying to find the demo. Royce again has to rotate. And again, here we go. Now it's going to be all down to Royce here to make some plays. And now it's going to be... I, I thought it's just going to be coming down to, uh, you know, who... I'm a shot. Looking for the secondary shot. Fake the challenge. And, you know, I think that's honestly... I feel like you just can't get like fakes at this like level of play and you know with about 310 left to go these games are so close yet so far it's more or less just playing on your weaknesses right so there we go Roy's already gonna hit that rotation back but both these guys should be you know quite fine and an old pile of wood gonna go for the shot off top and it's slotted in far post and an old pile of wood helps his team go up 2-0. I mean that was just a good reader there no one was watching that back post was, no one was watching that far post excuse me so. No one could have hopped up for the save. Part on Royce's fault, but for the side, phase four eyes, you know, was not in the play, so. And Royce going to be anticipating for a pass to be an old pile of wood here. Royce going to go for a good aerial contest. We'll bump him actually into the ball, so now the aerial, you know, contest is open. The shot going to ricochet towards the net. And it sneaks in, and Jeb TZ Gamer will be able to sneak it in on the counterattack. You know, a good aerial play, and Old Pile Wood was kind of going back for boost, but then he went to go defend the shot, and bad angle there, bad read. Tried to save it from behind, but had no angle. So Arizona finally get on the board, 2-1, with about halfway left to go in this game. Norris not trying any shenanigans here on the kickoff. I mean, they've kind of learned their lesson from that, so. Bryce going to look for a pass down the midfield line, and the shot will ricochet. The ricochet, the pass is there, the pass is there. And it might sneak in far post unless the Edom can get a save on it. So it's going to be all done to Royce here on the backside. So, again, it's going to be Royce going to be waiting for it. And now, again, it's going to be Royce. Royce also going to have to watch the demo attempt. Royce going to pitch it back out mid. The shot will corral. It's going to be Jeb TZ Gamer. Again, Royce going to also have to go for a play. It's going to be back to Edom. Edom able to save it just for now, but also has to watch back angle. An old pile of wood looking to land a good shot. 
but Royce will at least be able to get another shit, uh, hit out to save it. And a shot coming in, and it's scored. Nezzy Gamer through the mid. That was just perfection. The defense was kind of all over the place, and the motion was there. Someone thought an old power was going to go for it. Three one ball game. And I feel like this has been like a very, very like close style of game here. Like obviously it's gonna box him out for the boost. So smart play on the defensive side of things. I feel like it's just more or less kind of like, oh, how are you gonna be able to adapt in a situation like this? And with the demo play coming through, Royce again already gonna be there for a rebound. And no. And again, Royce needed that back boost really badly, so the box out one. Actually, they're just going to be waited in net here, so in case the shot does kind of corral through. And Royce going to get a lucky pinch there. So, we still have little to no boost heading towards mid, but the shot might still kind of corral off. So, we're just going to go back post and hope that he can regain on the defensive path. I'm trying to save that follow-up shot, but... And again, this handoff directly right there. It will be down to Edom. Edom and it has to try to make a play. It will be Ram. And Royce again will already have the angle, so just going to be kind of waiting on it. Royce is going to kind of power it down the pitch here, and now the shot will actually kind of corral to the mid if an old power would make some contact. And now we'll be trying to corral again. And now you have the situation where it's kind of like, how are you going to be able to do it? And Royce going to just, was well, going to go for a psycho, but nothing too much there. So again, Royce is just going to be waiting on back post here. And again, the bumps will come through. We'll be back down to Edom. Edom's Royce going to find a bump. Or so he's able just to go ahead and clear away. So Royce is going to take a high shot. Might actually sneak in. And no, it's down low. Probably would have gone off crossbar anyways. Still an excellent save in the last shot coming up through mid. Royce is going to have to be able to make some plays. Target shot on target down low. Royce trying to kind of keep up with his pace here. Royce is going to be playing on back post. It's going to be down low. Down by, it's still deflected away. Three seconds for his obviously going to be waiting for the test 57 seconds to go. Maybe they have to score now. And Royce is going to be found dead. And as the second the ball hits the ground. And game two taken by uh, Toronto. We have a 1-1 apiece game. Being so outclassed there. I mean, it was a 3-1 game. So close, yet so far. But, I mean, hey, close only counts in uh, horseshoes, so you can, really only you can only count it there. One of these teams will get the advantage heading into the game three, or game four, excuse me. But they're tied even a piece. This is the best of seven, though, so no best of five nonsense. But looking at some of those highlights... That was a good shot there to at least open up the scoring opportunity. And this was the follow-up shot there that actually kind of snuck in, but a good save there. Question, how do you just plan? Like, that was a hard read, but if you're on the side of uh, Toronto, how do you, you know, plan on getting that 2-1 advantage? I just think it's more or less like, hey, how do you, you know? Game three. So, so varying heights for game three. Winner gets advantage. Here we go, lads. Dr. Moon. It's going to be Moon Butter taking on... Sham, Beatrom, and Immortal. Here we go, lads, and we're underway. So, going to be a wide open target shot here. Royce already going to be on the rotation towards back post. You're going to kind of need all your offense to kind of flow. Royce, again, already will be in that. And it just sneaks in. And, well, I don't even know what Royce is doing there. I mean, hey, that was just a, a weird shot, and I don't think Royce intended for that shot to kind of go that way. Um, but, you know, it kind of is what it is. So, 1 0 lead already within the first eight seconds for the side of. Toronto, and they're looking to go ahead and take it, so we'll be back on the better, better. We'll hopefully get the test 50 here. We're just going to just kind of leave it, so 
So a fake on that challenge there. The shot managed to corral in, and it will somehow sneak in off the top bar. Or is he going to go for it, but he left it perfectly just for him. And then the double tap was there, snuck in. Now we have a, a tied up game. This is the first time our games have been tied. We're going to fake it, leaving it just perfectly for the back corner here, hoping the back corner will take it out. Rice again already will be on the rotation towards back post. Rice will still be here on back post, just in case, in case any new nonsense happens. Again. My bad, bro. I was so off POS, bro. If they see me, bro, I was like weird, bro. I was not recovered. <laughs> I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save myself there. But we're all set. Just gonna take a cheat here. Rex is already gonna be on the rotation towards back post, or he's already gonna be waiting. We're gonna be waiting. We're gonna be waiting. Looking for the pass back out, but nothing too much there. We're starting to hit the rebound, or he's gonna again have to rotate back and hope for a better save than before. Shot's gonna be through through traffic. The follow up race again, so I'm gonna be in such a tight angle here to work with. And again, Royce just trying to contest and maybe make some plays happen. Royce again will already hit that rotation, so now you can kind of just wait for that ball to maybe go mid. It's just more. And again, Royce actually going to be able to make some plays happen. 2 1 lead. Royce, the shot coming through. Shamode, but no, Royce again going to have to opt for the rotation out. And again, Royce looking to go there for the attempt, but. Royce gonna go for a bomb, might actually sneak in, and now it's gonna be all down to the rotation, and now it's gonna be back down to Royce here, so. And again, I feel like it's just more or less like down to Royce, but you know, it is what it is, right? So, he's gonna hit, bump that ball, hoping that he can make a play. Actually, we'll be back down to Pickle. Pickle might be able to make something happen. Royce again gonna hope for it, maybe hope for a little ball up there. Royce is gonna send that one high. So, Royce again already gonna hit rotation out. Royce trying to make a solo play there. Royce again already be rotated. Phase four eyes, ready? And again, gonna bomb that one high in case anyone's there for the rebound. The doink is not there. And now a beautiful follow-up shot might be able to kind of corral in. You know, kind of what is that nonsense? Royce always stay able to clear it out for the time being. And now it's gonna be kind of down to Royce to kind of leave it. It's gonna kind of corral towards back. It's gonna be a wide open net. The plates are there and it's in. And Toronto had the beautiful passing play. Worked so efficiently. Question is, you kind of have to get back in the series, right? I mean, you got to hope for something. I mean, you're only about halfway left here. It's just going to kind of corral that one towards the outer. Now it's going to be Royce to kind of go up wall. And, uh, well, no plays there. Royce actually already get bumped off. Maybe should be a wide open shot on target. Royce already going to be far side in case anything was to happen. Royce already going to be kind of midfield. And now is Royce just not going to opt for it. Royce already going to be waiting for read up wall. And just going to kind of try and hit it back to his teammate. Teammate going to take it up. Gonna kind of opt for teammate. Teammate gonna take it. And now Royce gonna look for another pass back. So it's gonna be kind of Royce to take it up the sidewall. So now it's gonna be down to Royce. Royce gonna kind of try his best to clear that one away. They actually end up well clearing it away, just not the, the exact angle they needed. So. And again, Royce is gonna kind of back off there. In order to miscommunication, Royce actually gonna already pressure on ball. And then Royce already rotate out. There will be a play mid. Royce gonna again have to take it. And it was just kind of own hands here. So now Royce will be rotated. It will be a shot off back. The double tap is there. And it's kind of corrals in and Royce will take it. So I don't even know what happened there. That, that was just such an awkward angle. But 3-2 and Royce kind of went up there. Got the touch. And well, just scored it in for himself. So Royce already going to be on the cheat. And again, Royce at least able to get a good contest 50 here. And again, I don't know exactly what Royce is thinking, but it's fine. Because Royce is just going to kind of leave it for his teammate there in the corner. And now Royce is just kind of looking to cook here. So, a good little contested 50. Good shot there. Well. Now a good play there. Good shot coming into the midfield line. It's up and it's good and it's away.
you know, this game certainly isn't over, but that was just such a tough read there to make. Just got to do right back. The shot will be there. I'm not on target, but very close. A good read's there, right? So again, gonna have to wait for it. And now it's just gonna be kind of down to Royce here to take it. Again, Royce gonna. Again, Royce trying to get a good contest 50. We'll be back down to Moon Pickle. Moon Pickle will not take it, so. Good aerial play off the backboard. Now it's gonna be back down to Royce. Royce gonna have to wait. Shot out by Moon Pickle. And now it's gonna be down to Royce to kind of clear it. The pinch actually will come through mid. And now it's gonna be a situation where you kind of have to you open up a demo on the back line, but nothing there. It's gonna be the solo play. Maybe the solo play might help, but Royce again already be working. 40 seconds left to go here. Tron, you gotta go. Excuse me, if you're in Arizona, you gotta go. Royce already gonna be again in the midfield. Royce gonna just be waiting for a pass. The pass that will not come yet. Again, it's gonna be a good read off the backboard here. And again, Royce tried to make some contacts for the upper 50, but nothing there. A little amount of time left to go. About 30 14 seconds left. And now you're, if you're Royce, you kind of have to be able to make a 50. Royce will just kind of clear that one away just for the time being. 10 seconds. You need to score here. You need to get a lucky goal. And that lucky goal will not happen. And that will do it for this game. And Royce again just going to try his best to send that one high. And Royce just going to send it towards his own net to end off the game. And <laughs> and there we go. So I just got added to some FaceTime call chat, but the game three victory will come out for the side of Toronto. So I guess now the people in the FaceTime call get to hear a little bit of what's happening in the RLS. I guess they get to hear some of my commentary actions. So there we go. We have a live audience here. But, but here we go. Heading into the game four, it is going to be a situation where, you know, if you lose this game, right, if you're if you're on the side of Arizona, how are you going to be able to come back out and make these more plays on the defensive side, right? Like Arizona has just been consistently killed on the outer def in the defensive perimeter the whole time. And just Arizona has not been able to like you know make any plays on the defense it's just like they've been getting killed even like with the backboard doubles or like the sidewall doubles and it just more or less that situation we're going to kind of have to walk in so we'll see how it works but toronto looking to go up on series point and move on to the next round here at major three but only the first series of the day we got way more rock league to go for anybody just tuning in my name is royce welcome back here to the rls and here we go salty shores will be our backdrop here for game four and good read already there so I feel like it's just gonna be a situation where it's kind of like you and a good play there and phase four I just gonna take it there the pass came in from Gambio and it was the it was the free jump by phase four eyes to be able to make the plays and he just got it through the traffic Emerald King not able to make the save there and a lot of motion coming in from the front so Arizona will be up 1-0 only six seconds in too and you gotta like really start to think I mean it's just these leads you cannot defend Arizona has been so great here just not been able to make, I guess, I don't, I don't know what you'd say here. Not been able to make um, their leads. They'd choke like the Atlanta Falcons here. So, we're just going to send that one high and no plays there. <laughs> or the bumps. I think you just got to kind of utilize the bumps. But again, on the clear, Emerald King going to take it himself. I mean, hey, beautiful play there. Emerald King just took it from his own net and just kind of cleared. Caught everybody else in the double commit and, well, no defensive there. That was just an easy walk and goal. But, I mean, hey. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So there we go. And now Phase Four Eyes takes it on the kickoff and will take it for himself. So now they get their lead back. So there we go. Arizona able to kind of walk in there, get the 2 1 lead. And we're only 30 seconds in, three goals apiece. And now the question is, how are you going to be able to, I guess, translate that? Just Toronto has been so good, especially on the offensive side of the ball, that it kind of feels weird seeing, you know, Arizona start making some, you know, scoring opportunities. So if we can just, you know, maybe see Arizona make a few more plays in the offense, they might be able to go ahead and take away this game and maybe force the game six possible. But so far, so good. And I guess we'll kind of figure out what's going to be next. Good old back pass, but, you know, bad communications there. So it will be a good shot coming to the mid. The bump will be there, but Emerald King able to maybe make a play towards the right-hand side. And again, the sidewall double will not be there. There we go. A good shot coming through. Might be in. And no, a good to save by Orphan. So, I mean, hey, nothing like being an Orphan. Roy's just going to take that for himself. I don't even know. Again, it's going to be Dad to take it. And then the double. But, you know, Emerald King not able to make any plays there. And Orphan just takes it himself off the ceiling. So, drop down off the ceiling and able to get it in. 
and not a not a squishy c9 ceiling shot but certainly that is uh, i guess a weird ceiling shot for orphan but orphan nation able to make it a tied game with 340 left on the clock and i mean hey salty shores for a game of four you know i never would have thought i'd see this map you know i would have thought you know seeing maybe utopia coliseum maybe could come out see a little bit of forbidden temple but you know it is what it is here and a good clear. A clear coming out. Emerald King going to meet in the midfield line. It will be a good contested 50, but it will be going in the favor of Toronto. The secondary shot. The bump's coming in, but no bumps there. So, going to whip on the bump, and, well, it will be a good clear so far for the side of uh, Arizona. Now, back for Toronto, it's going to have to be them to go ahead and get the, you know, takeaway game taker, but I just don't know. So, can't be able to take it, but then, you know, Phase 4 is going to take it himself again. The plays are there. It's going to be there to take it. And then the passing points are there. It's going to be a wide open net. I don't know. That's not going to be on target, but certainly a good effort. Shots going to come through mid. Royce is going to get them up on Urban. And I don't even know. This is more or less like, hey, you would not expect to see four games on one day, but I don't even, I don't know. But, you know, from playing eight games on one day to eight games the next day to now playing four games, it's, you know, feeling a little bit slower paced. It is what it is, but so far, we'll preview our next match coming up at the little break here. Assuming that, you know, assuming that Toronto win and a timeout's taken by Arizona, then I guess you can kind of, you know, preview what's been happening at this major so far. I mean, this major has definitely been a fun one, though. I mean, championship going to be tomorrow. I mean, I just kind of have a feeling that Boston might be able to take it themselves, but it was just, it was just a shame seeing Chicago get taken out of the bracket yesterday. Chicago's high favorites, you know, trying to win their first major of the year, but nothing too much there. And now Boston is looking to take it, but with only Arizona and Oakland left in the Western Conference here, they're looking to go ahead. The passing play is there, but no, we're going to be off the post. And it's at least able to be kept alive for the time being, and still a 2-2 game apiece. So 2-2-2 two, two, two on the clock. And just... And the shot coming through! It's open! And Daryl will take it into the net, and that was just so free. That was more free than the fucking, you know, samples at Costco. The defense was not there. It was Orphan, and then the ball was there. So with a minute left to go, about a minute 45. And, you know, hey, I, I love my Costco samples. Don't get me wrong, but that one, I just, if it's free like that, I do not want that. Or maybe Shaw's, but, you know, nothing like getting the free cookies at Hannaford right there, so. So Ray's going to hear this idle double. It's going to be passed back to Gambio. Gambio going to take it. It's going to be third traffic, and it's in. And Emerald King will pick up his second of the ball game. So 4-2 to two now, Toronto looking to go up in this series, and it's looking like this game might be coming to a close, but I mean, hey, we've seen a crazy 4-0 comeback with only two minutes left on the clock here, so maybe we're going to see something like that, but not at this Major. That was at Major 1, so stuff has been different. Major 1 was about three months ago. So we'll, we'll about to, you know, see what other changes are made here, but I, I just think it's more or less like if you work on your offensive side of the ball, more on, you know, Arizona, right? Like, you, you just don't defend your lead. The cucks or pinch attempt. Good cucks or pinch. Phase 4 is going to be waiting looking for the redirect. No, no redirect there. Racing like, again, go for the side wall. Actually, it might go for a side wall double, but it is what it is. And Emerald King going to take a secondary shot off cross. It's going to be dare to take it. It's going to be through the traffic, but Gambio able to go ahead and make a save. And now the question is, can you get the comeback rally to wait here with only a minute left? And I guess we'll kind of see what happens. Shot coming off the cross, but the defense is there and it'd be cleared away for the time being. 58 seconds left to go and a timeout might be requested here. I, I think, you know, Arizona has a lot of problems they're going to figure out. Just like how uh, a lot of girls have daddy issues nowadays. But oh my God, scored! And Phase 4 Eyes makes it a possible game. You know, that was a good play. Gambio sets it up. Phase 4 Eyes already went for the air play. He jumped already at the midfield right when he was in the corner. He was right there. And now the, now the girls' daddy issues now are going to be on the defense here. So the pressure will be applied here with about only 50 seconds. Phase 4 Eyes is going to find a demo for himself. And now this is kind of like where you're going to have to be able to play your strong offense. Now, if you're Arizona, you have to stop making as much, much problems. And the pinch is going to come here. But it's going to be Dare. They're going to take it back. Gambio trying to make a play. But an Emerald Knight will be in corner here. Emerald Knight will take it. It will be a good play. And now it's going to have to be a good shot, and the shot will come through, but it's going to be way off the post. Emerald King going to take it. Phase 4 Eyes is going to redirect it to the corner, and now this is where we might get to see some more action. A shot coming down, Emerald Knight is going to be a good contestation. Clear, 20 seconds left to go here. Good effort by Arizona on the comeback, but Toronto just needs one more goal to put it away. A good save by Mardi Gras. And the shot will come through the sidewall double again, and now cleared away, but he will be demoed, so maybe an opportunity for a goal. You're going to just have to play smart. The 50 will be thrown back out to the midfield line. Game five, or game four, excuse me, coming to a close. And this should do it. Cleared away. And maybe the zero-seconder. And no. 
the play, and that was all that they needed. So, in the best of seven, it will be Toronto up 3-1. And now the question is, will your defending, your reigning, your major champions be able to come back here? It's just it's just the problem that, you know, we see a lot of the times, right? I mean, Arizona, they somehow managed to win major two. Oakland won major one. Both these teams still in the tournament. Both from the Western Conference, too. It's just, can Arizona come back? And that's going to be the massive problem, especially since you're down 3-1. It's only required one more map to take it if you're on the side of Toronto. And Toronto are feeling confident. They want to knock out your reigning defending, your major champions out of Arizona, right? Arizona's just been having such a phenomenal season. They've been your dark horse. You know, major one, they were doing really bad. Major two weeks, they were not doing the best, but they were still able to come out and, you know, find something. They, you know, they, they were, you know, pretty mediocre. But then when they came out in the major, they were absolutely frying. So the question is, how will you be able to go ahead and play strong, especially if you're on Arizona? But here's what I think, you know, if I had to choose in like the best world possible to choose, what do I think Arizona is going to do? You gotta work more on your demo game too. The demos are such a good part of this, and we've seen that even coming from Toronto in the early games one and games two, right? They came out, they got some pretty good demos here, and that's just gonna be the very, very important question of how are we gonna be able to, you know, work. So heading into this game four, no time, and now the timeout should just almost be up here. I guess we'll kind of see how Toronto is able to go ahead and deal with the situation. I mean, if we're looking at their record on match point, you know. <laughs> And, um, you know, and, and, uh, and a girl named Sydney wants to scream really fucking loud, so... <laughs> Champions Field, nothing like this. Game, uh, game four, well, excuse me, game five is set. Toronto on series point. Arizona, you're reigning. You're defending. You're major two champions. Looking to go ahead and move on in the tournament. All right, need three in a row. And ladies and gents, we are back underway here on Champions Field. Game five, the paint's going to be coming out, and now it's going to be cleared away so far. It's going to be passed right back to the front of the net here. And a good 50. The 50 is going to kind of be there. So, it's going to be played off corner. And, you know, I feel like it's just going to have to be Reese again. The 50 is going to be everybody in front of the net. And now you're going to kind of have to be able to just regain on the defensive half. Should be wide out by the, down to Zen. But Zen will not be able to make a play there, unfortunately, for him. And you're going to have Fizzo go for it. But no, Fizzo, the ripoff Rizzo, will not be able to make the play. Then it will be down to Day. And now it's just kind of like, how are you going to be able to just come up clutch in these situations, you know? The good... <laughs> Fizzo going to take it again. Back into the corner it goes, and not really a lot happening. And Phase 4 eyes going to take it. And the pinch going to come out. The pinch. The good 50 will kind of crowd on the corner, but it will be a good save. No boost spawned, and that's going to be a massive problem. Arizona going to have little to no boost, and you're going to be able to have to, you know, make some defensive plays, so... Just, just a simple clear to your zone and grab some boost, you'll be fine. And that's exactly what's happening. You're gonna try and rip one on target. Phase four eyes not able to connect, and then it will be happy skills. Happy skills pass back to phase four eyes will be Zen in the midfield waiting, but it will be a backflip instead. Might be able to recover, but it will be Gwen on the defensive side. It will be cleared. And now <laughs> and phase four is gonna send it all the way back to his own net. So I mean not an own goal, but just trying to make some you know offensive opportunities that have not been quite literally offensive. A good clear there by phase four eyes trying to work the defense and it ricochets off the post and the crossbar is now reverberating you know that just you know it's just like those things where it's kind of like how are you going to be able just to like fuck around find out and, and, and now this is going to be a wide open free net and it will be in and happy skills takes it in for the goal to make it 1-0 arizona i mean that was just taken all the way back so far i mean running the batmobile but that was just free and uh, honestly that was just really free so Let's see here. <laughs> Three minutes to go in game regulation on this game five on Champions Field Day. <laughs> and now it's going to be a 1 0 lead. And now the question is can you keep your lead? You're going to choke it. Are going to be bigger chokers than a. And okay, Face Mars is going to own goal. So, going to try and get the pinch off the crossbar. And I guess predicts his 50 a little bit too well. Tries to jump over, avoiding the bump. He will avoid the bump, but in turn, he will end up own going. So. You know, certainly if an Arizona loss here, then it's definitely will be <laughs> on phase four eyes himself. That'll definitely be his fault there. And maybe the own goal will come back once again. You know, nothing like own goal and trolling and fucking around. But just make the other team own goal and you'll be fine. You know, kind of uh, set away your embarrassment, you know. But it is what it is. The 250, another bump attempt coming out here from the side of Toronto. And Toronto is just so well at work in those offensive bumps. And, and the defensive bumps, too, to get him off the ball. Shot will come through. And no, nothing too much. A good demo attempt there coming out on the defense. It's going to be Gyro. Gyro to take it himself. But then it will be cleared back. 
And then it will be a shot again. We're gonna just bounce all the way off. And then, yeah, so 10 to the corner, we're at the halftime mark here of this game five. And, you know, both these teams have one apiece. So it's gonna be very important that, you know, you kind of see one of these teams move on. It's just, it would be such a shame if you just see kind of, uh, you know, one of these teams get knocked out. The pass is there, but this kind of has to uh, 50. And the 50 actually will end up resulting in a uh, playoff crossbar. Cleared back into the uh, into the team orange corner here, and a good 50 again. It's just the 50s so far for Arizona have been all the way going in favor of Toronto, and I think that's something you had just. It's not even the, like your fault that the 50s just aren't going your way. It's just how awkward the balls are, and you know, especially if the ball is like going to be coming like right towards your sack, it's going to be very such an important read. A good shot there. And I mean, hey, th this is reminding me that this is a worse game than the time I saw my freaking uh, granddad watching fucking baseball. He, he was like, yo, you should watch this ball game. And I'm like, no, and it was just very boring. So, I mean, hey, this I don't know what's more boring than that. I'm, or, hey, watching golf. That's, I mean, I love playing golf. Now, watching golf, that's a different breed. I'd rather, I'd rather watch competitive horse racing. A minute left to go here. Overtime coming up on the loom. This will have to be a massive play. The dunk is in, and Happy Skills picks up a second of the game, and that could give Arizona the lead. He's gonna he's gonna get the ball right over Day, and then Zen is gonna get the pass right over to him. He's gonna get it right by Gyro, and then Happy Skills is just there. And yes, you look like Donald Trump. So here we go. One minute, 11 seconds on the clock. It will be a two-one advantage. And Chad, that is something you call Riz. And, and it's going to go through, and Happy Skills gets his hat trick, and it is a 3-1 ball game, and this is nothing that you could ask for. Toronto is slowly collapsing, just like how the Raptors collapsed after giving away Kawhi Leonard. You know, this is just such a you know, perfectionist game here, and I don't know. If, if I was on the side of Toronto, would I save the timeout in case the game goes to 7, or would, you know, would, would they use their timeout after this game to figure out what the fuck did we do wrong? How did we you know, lose to Arizona in this game? But Arizona, they have not played up the par, but they have still been doing better than I would have thought. And, they, and a secondary shot followed up, going to be rejected, just like how I got rejected for the 30th time the other day. And, you know, nothing like trying to Rizzo. You know, I, I swear she said she was 12, you know? Like, she said she was 12, you know? I didn't know she was actually 11, you know? But it is what it is. But thank God she actually was 12, or else I wouldn't be risen up Kaylee. But the shot getting corral the 50, the play is there, and everything was so perfectionate, and happy skills is going to pick up his fourth of the ball game, but, you know, phase four eyes on the assist. It's going to ricochet off there. The shot was there. In 30 seconds, Arizona take it. And, you know, a, a lot of females... Are, are in the audience, so it's going to be very interesting to see what they're doing. I'm surprised they aren't talking about, you know, their makeup and all that, but I guess a girl did ask if she put on a little bit too much bronzer, so... I mean, I mean, I, I mean, they did ask if they did put on too much bronzer, which made them look orange, but I mean, yes, they did look like a carrot or Donald Trump. So, a timeout will actually end up being used here by the side of Toronto. So let's kind of discuss what has happened throughout this series. Let's kind of cover what's happened to the major so far. And, and try your best to predict what's going to happen. Kind of like March Madness. So, getting set here. Let's look at today's schedule. After this, we're actually having an Atlanta versus Boston game. That should be a fun one. Then we're going to go up to the winner's final. And we're going to have New York versus Oakland. Oakland, the only other Western team in this division, looking to go ahead and run it back up since Major 1. Again, Arizona is on the face of defeat still, but has an opportunity. they just got to win two more in order to move on. So... Obviously, with the timeout, there's no teams going to have timeouts. So, it's going to have three more possible games. Or, excuse me, two more possible games of a straight Rock League. So, anyways, uh, for the Atlanta-Boston game, that's going to be a rematch of the 2021 finals. You know, Boston ended up taking that one 4-1. So, you know, Atlanta was supposed to be a really good team coming into last season. They did not perform up to expectations. They got knocked out by uh, Orlando, who then, in turn, was your 2022 runner-ups for the championship. And then, after that, it was a situation where it's like, you know, Orlando got knocked out by Atlanta at first. But it's just like the situations of like, how do you, I guess, transform in the offensive side? And that's, you can say that for every single team. Because all the teams in the offense have just been very lackluster so far up in these past two days. It's been mainly the defense on the clears or the defense, you know, setting up the offensive plays, especially on the, your rotations. So I, I just think it's more or less if you just keep up your strong offense. It's a team like Boston, right? Boston, Chicago, they're your number one and number two heavy offensive teams that, you know, incorporate the offensive demos, incorporate the stealing shots, that your flip resets, your, your flicks. They're just so good on the offensive 
offensive side of the ball. And the fact that Boston versus Chicago happened last night in a loser's round was, was beyond shocking, you know? If, if, if someone was to come up to me and be like, hey, Chicago versus Boston, loser's bracket, I mean, hey, I would have thought you are a girl who actually knew how to wash the dishes for once, right? I mean, hey, I, I would have thought that's what happened, but no. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but no, they don't. You know that. That's why it's the guy has to wash the dishes. But I respect it. You know, man, it's a good arm workout. You know, it's better arm workouts than other things. So, got got to respect it. Also, and that's the point in dishwashers. I don't get. You know, it's like what's the point in having them if you're just gonna like run it all day and then you're gonna have it break and you're gonna have to pay two fifty for, you know, to just get it looked at every single week because you're putting fucking you're you're max loading it to the you know the brim. You know, it's just like do it yourself. But it is what it is. So it looks like game six is ready to go. Hopefully it will be Neo Tokyo. Not quite yet. And again, Arizona forced Game 7 with a win, while Toronto will actually end up winning the series with this win here. Again, most of uh, chat's predictions, most of you know the fans' predictions were on the side of Toronto. And, and so far, the desk was a clean sweep on Toronto as well. So now the question is, Arizona has no one on their side except for themselves. Here we go. Game 6 will be set again on another Champions Field day. Possible two more games in this first series. And well, again, again, if you're just joining us, my name is Royce. I'm going back to the RROS Game 6. And uh, it's still on the verge of elimination, but Arizona, they have nothing to worry about quite yet. I mean, the only thing they have to worry about is giving up the first goal, or in that case, worrying about how many hoes you have they have to get rid of for a girl you like. I mean, that, that's something as well as Arizona do, because Arizona got a little bit too feisty. If you remember in the World Series, there was some allegations going around, and, you know, it was just a, a situation. So it's just a question of, well, does Arizona have hoes? <laughs> and, the, and the demo play, and I guess, did not get there. But I guess our audience is getting a little bit interactive here. And again, the secondary shot going to be rejected. And hey, again, I just got rejected for the 31st time. That's that's quite, you know, quite confusing. But well, yeah, whatever, 30-something. You know, it, it is what it is. P 40 times probably. I don't fucking know. I don't keep exact count. The shot coming through. Jake Coleman going to take it out, but it will be agitated to go ahead and maybe make a play on it. So, a good 50 there, uh, cleared on the backside. And I, I feel like it's just, you gotta work on it. It's, it's just a bunch of bumps coming in here, and I just think it's gonna be kind of like how you're gonna be able to regain after your bumps, right? But it is what it is, so the fake challenge is gonna go there. The play is gonna be coming out from corner. It's gonna be a good ball off backboard. And now just the defense is not there. The defense is like where my dad is, non existent. But the offense, the offense still cannot come out and make plays. Like, what is Arizona doing? Arizona is not making plays even though the Toronto defense is literally across the border. And a good shot on the clear. This is going to be a big situation. Oh no, phase four us is a miscommunication. And the shot will be there. And a ladies dot Riz takes it in. And that was just a situation that was kind of shocked. You know, Jake Coleman tried to get the clear phase four eyes. Ended up getting a little touch on there. Sent it right back over. So 1 out with 3.30 left to go. Pass back. And again, the plays defensively are going to come back out. But no, actually, the defense for Arizona is working a little bit. They're turning on the overtime shifter. They're turning on, you know, like, girls giving top nowadays. That's exactly what they're turning on. You know, it's going to make sure you're doing really good. And uh, as far as this is eSports, good question. And again, a good 50 there coming off the sidewall. Now it's going to be rotated back into the blue corner. And that's just a problem that you're going to have to work with. The 50 going to be there. The bump actually will also help out on the defensive. So not a lot of, you know, additional plays you can make. And again, 2.55 will have to go on the clock here. And it's just a lot of work that has to be done here, especially. I mean, you're only down by one, but it feels like with how much time is left and the, and the time that's dwindling down, it feels like, you know, you have to give up. And that's just going to be a problem that I feel like a lot of teams have, especially when they're facing this. But you made the other, you know, you know, you made Toronto use their timeout. You you outplayed them so well that you made them use their timeout. And I think it's just a situation that's like, oh, cool. And if you think you get the, you know, make the other team use the timeout, make your opposition use your timeout, that should be, you know, a very well confidence booster. The fact that you outplayed them enough that you had to make them use their timeout. The secondary shot going to follow up, no good. Now it's going to be Ladies.Riz to take it up again. So it's going to be on the wall. It will be Ron to take the save. Again, phase four. I was going to rotate on the back post. Able to get another nice touch out there. T back down to Ron. Ron going to look for the 50, but no good. Ladies.Riz is going to take a good shot. Jay Coleman on the defense. And a good save there by phase four eyes. Good 50 there once again, but it's still going to be in the neutral zone. And it's going to need to be immediate clear. About a minute 50, still trunged by one. The secondary follow-up shot will not be there either. And now again, it's going to be how are you going to be able to regain? 
shot going to come directly down. It's going to be able to bounce. But again, still equally saved by Toronto. And Toronto has been having a hell of a game on the defensive side. Their defense has been so good. Now the question is, can you do it? This Arizona is applying way too much pressure. But the defense is keeping up with every single shot, every single pass, every single play that they try and make. It's just been there on the side of Toronto. Toronto needs a rally. They're going to need a side out here. They're going to need something, quite literally anything here they're going to need. But the shot's coming down mid. And it's just, it's, there's nothing going on for Arizona here. A shot going to be on the queer. The defense will be there, though. Again, the defense is just always there. No matter what, you just can't find anything. And that's going to be the problem here. As time dwindles down, one minute left on the game clock, a follow-up shot going to be there. It will be another save. And again, it's just how we're going to be able to like regain. And you just can't. And this is loser's bracket. One loss and you're out here. So this isn't, you know, this isn't winner's bracket. The 50 will be there, and it's in. It's the goal. And certainly, the dagger to the heart. The nail in the coffin. And that will do it, I think. The 50. Ladies not Riz got the 50 over phase four eyes. The ball was cleared out. And that should definitely do it here unless we see some sort of miracle. I mean, hey, you're definitely going to need some sort of miracle. But it's looking like you're defending. You're reigning. Your major champions will be knocked out of this tournament here. Be knocked out of the major. And cleared down. Only 30 seconds left to go in this game. It's going to be your follow-up shot. Going to be rejected. And it's Arizona working on the defense here. The ball will be cleared out. 30 seconds left to go. And now you're just going to have to be able to make something. And maybe you can at least find a last second goal. You're going to have to score basically right here, right now, if you want any chance. Ball going to be cleared just down away. And now the 50 will contest. It will be all the way back down to the side of the Arizona corner. Toronto can feel it. They know it's going to be the guts. It's the glory. They have done everything. Toronto, this is the farthest they've ever made it at a major this year. And they're looking to go ahead and soak it in. With four seconds, the win is guaranteed. And your reigning champions, your major two champions, Arizona, will be knocked out and they will be going home. What a game right there. And that was certainly something. I mean, it was quite literally a hell of a game, right? You had that 2-1, but it was just the it was just the final goal within the final, you know, 30 seconds, which, you know, basically knocked them out there. And with that, they will be moving on to play the winner of Atlanta and Boston. So stay tuned. That game will be coming up next year on RLS Network. But what a, let's just recap that series because this one was just a fuck of a series. This is a Tom fuckery here. So let's see. Toronto somehow get the upset on Arizona, so we'll mark that down. So let's kind of just cover what's what's exactly been happening. Let's, let's see, how did Arizona end up here before they ended up getting eliminated by Toronto? Well, you know, it all started, they started off, they had to play Minnesota in winner's round one. They easily took down a 3-0 versus Minnesota, then went down to play Oakland. They lost to Oakland, which that was a Western Division matchup. They lost there and then dropped down to play Orlando. They knocked out Orlando and then obviously got here versus Toronto. Now, Toronto had a little bit of a separate path here, so they ended up playing Dallas in winner's round one. They lost that round one, then they had to play... Uh, uh, they had to play Boston. Boston ended up uh, losing to them in five, so Toronto had to play New York, but lost in game six. New York is now obviously in your winner's final, playing Oakland. So now that Toronto moves on, they only have to go through one more team if they want to play. If They just need to go through two more teams, and they are off to the championship there tomorrow. But with only two more games, or excuse me, with only three more games left on the day, Toronto have a little bit of time for the rebound. But I guess we'll kind of see. So let's kind of cover Atlanta versus Boston real quick, and then we'll head to the commercial break. And when we get back, we've got some more interesting Rocket League coming up. So looking at Atlanta, they were your this this is a matchup between major one or excuse me, major one versus your twenty twenty one championship final. This was for you know your RLS championship, this was for the trophy, this is for whatever you want to call it. Bragging rights, if you just want to call it Tom Fuckery, Tom Fleury, whatever you want to call it, that's exactly what this was for. And Atlanta versus Boston, that one was basically a, a good old classic. I mean, you, that was considered the El Clasico, but no, the El Clasico is Boston versus Chicago. That is just always gonna be the El Clasico of the RLS, but Again, Atlanta versus Boston, that did not go in favor. It was a 4-1 win for uh, Boston. So, Atlanta, is, again, they were expected to be a massive powerhouse coming into um, coming into that major, uh, coming into that second season. And now we got girls uh, curling their eyelashes, doing their eyebrows, and then just, uh, and then someone else doing that. But nothing like using an eyebrow pencil there just to go ahead and make sure everything's all checked up. But, I mean, hey, just kind of like how you have to make sure everything's all set up there. But, again, that's what I guess this is what this FaceTime call is for, is just to go ahead and get your makeup on, make sure you're all set. But, holy god damn, that shine. Holy shit. I just got, I just got a, I just, I just went blind because of that shine. But, <laughs> and, you know, nothing like just some friendly uh, bullying. But, you know, it, it is what it is. But my fault to whoever you are. You know, my fault to 8765, whatever. My, my fault, bro, my fault. <laughs> 
<laughs> my bad, my bad for insulting you. But anyways, now for Boston, they have been doing good all season long. They are undefeated aside from at this major when they ended up taking a hard loss to Toronto. Besides that, they have not lost a single series. Even going back to the 2022 championship, they were able to go ahead and win there. Now, <laughs> now again, just looking like at the situation that's like... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Kaylee. Oh, all right. Um, But yeah, we just provide some great commentary there on the call. So I don't know if anybody else is on the call. I don't feel like checking because I still got to go on this. So Boston, they've just been doing really good. So, ladies and gentlemen, we get back. We have more RLS action coming up next on the RLS Network. We got Nuena. We got Boston. We got another loser semifinal to go. And uh, we'll catch you just on the, on the tail end of this break.
and we welcome you back to the ROS Major. So, one team moves on, one team goes home, you're defending, you're reigning, you're major Your major champions go home. Here we go. Toronto will be playing the winner of Boston and Atlanta tonight. The opportunity for another Eastern matchup. But here we go, lads. Two more, three more series in the day. Here we go, almost getting ready to go. Predictions are in. Chat has Boston. Fans have Boston. I have Boston. Boston has to play Atlanta. This is an El Clasico matchup here. One side, you have Arizona. Or excuse me, on one side, you have Atlanta looking to prove something. On the other, you have Boston. Here we go. Quote unquote, one of the old El Clasicos of the league. On the other, you got Boston. Both these teams looking to advance on to later tonight to play the final match. Boston and Atlanta. Winner has a date with Toronto in the loser semifinal. Let's go. It's such another beautiful game in the loser's bracket. Both these teams looking to advance on, but only one can move on and the other will go home. The winner will obviously join Toronto in the next round. But they'll both be playing tonight for redemption. And but one of these winners, one of them will be going home. Such a beautiful day. Here we go. And honestly, this is kind of a situation where it's like, hey, you know, you can't necessarily figure out what you're going to do on the offensive side. Nothing like starting it off on Manfield Dust. The best time to start it off. Here we go, lads. 3.36 Eastern and Innocence, we're underway. Game one. So obviously a best of seven here. So again, it's going to be kind of dished out to Royce. Royce is going to try and launch that one on target. Again, trying with the follow-up. No gut on the follow-up. Again, the Brumps were trying to come through. The plays obviously were not there. The 50s will be back. And already on the rotation, comes back. It's going to be such a good play here. Boston obviously looking to advance on to the next. Keeping his pinch. Perfect pass out. Just again, we'll be cheating. And Royce again going to get a good lucky shot, but the save will come through. Already on the rotation towards backside. It doesn't need to be Boston on the plays. A little whiff on both sides here. Good, you know, good 50. Good follow-up shot. Again, it will already be down to Royce here. Again, Royce going to get in his way just to go ahead. It will be down to Barkley. Barkley obviously not. And again, a good follow-up shot looking to be there. Box up the shooter. So now Royce again, obviously going to be in the back line. Royce again, going to hope for one. Again, the plays will be there. It's going to be all down to the traffic. A good follow-up shot here. And again, Roy's going to be there with the pre-jump. 
At least to keep it away, or he's going to be anticipating for a pass here. And again, I think we're just hoping for the pinch, but... To be cleared away. Bumps are there, but nothing's good. And I'll sneak in. <laughs> Holy hell. Already one out weed. Again, good reads. Own goal, and it might sneak in. And it will sneak in, or it's gonna be cornered with the goal. Good plays there, and Rice obviously gonna get the double. Sends it right towards the net, and deep on. Wait, son. on the pass here, you know, obviously have to make some short reads. Gonna be cheating up on behind. Pass is gonna be there. This game better hurry up, bro. It's like whenever I'm in a game, bro. Two minutes to go. Another goal here might we'll put him out of reach. Abandon it, see what happens. Okay, great.
Here we go. Game number four. Or game number two, excuse me. Here we go. Game number two. And Atlanta already up 1-0 in the series. We got a good 50 on the back line here. Good plays there already, so. Cursing for the double. No doubles there. So I'm gonna be on back line here. Bruce at least able to escape that miss shit. 50, and also gonna put him up for this scoring opportunity here. This is taking himself, gonna fake that, goes for the shot, and so close yet so far. He's in a perfect spawn there. He's gonna bump one. Shot comes in, and shot a rock. Plays are perfect. Yeah, another shot comes in. The save does come in. Shot Rock trying to go two for two here. There actually will be angles now. It's going to be all down to Royce here on the back line. So Royce at least able to make some plays here. It's going to be caught up on post. Place is going to be cleared all the way down the pitch. So now it's going to be Shot Rock. Shot Rock can take it. It's going to be over traffic. It's going to be over one. And Royce going to back off here. Maybe Shot Rock. Maybe make another 50. And the play is no good, and a good save there. Um, what would a save? Gonna fake it. What a save. I gotta remember that my what a save is left and then down, yeah. Again, this is going to be a situation where if you're a boss and you start playing out, it's going to be Jeff coming down to Garnotch. Again, the double. The double. The rebound is there. The rebound is there. Now it's going to be all the way down to Ball. Ball's going to pick it up or he's going to already be here waiting. Off speed. No good. Chris again going to go for a little wall play here. A good 50. And, you know, that was a good three jump there, honestly, Royce. So again, already going to be rotation on back line. Trying to go ahead and maybe find some plays. Shot will go mid. Royce so already will be there, but, you know, just waver off for the time being. And Royce again just going to settle for a little pinch down the pitch. We're starting to be thrown off the ball here. Good plays. It is actually going to be down to Garnotch. Gabriello down to Zombies. Royce is going to take it off. And his own teammate deflecting his own shot. Again, Royce is going to get bumped into ball here, so now it's going to be down to Royce to maybe make some de defensive plays here. It's going to already be in such an awkward angle here. And again, the little flick over might actually turn out to be cost-worthy in the long run. Trying to get in his way. Shot's going to already ricochet towards the right side. And now the shot's going to go down there. It's going to actually already be down to Royce here to go ahead and make some plays. It might actually come out. But Royce already actually able to settle for one. 50 comes right across the pitch on the backside. Now it's going to be, again, good reads. It's going to be back down. And now it is going to be good plays here. Oh, oh, <laughs> and the shot is there. And everything is so perfection.
where he's gonna be killed by Beast. Once again, our new shadowing out here is already waiting for a touch. Backboard read, perfect pass, shot, it off speed, catches behind, and Royce is gonna get the assist with uh, Karacha scoring. Minute left here, Boston looking to go ahead and tie the series on a piece. Or so we still find a bub here, find his happiness. I can at least start to, you know, maybe make some plays on the offensive side of the ball as well. Gonna rip one, far side. And Royce will go a wall dash. Good 50. Royce again already gonna be towards the rotation. Take it. That should be in for a goal. So again, going to be playing so far. Right, so far, so good. Right, again, ready with the 50. Race going to be open for maybe pass up. Ball going to kind of careen. Now we'll do it. Game two taken. Perfect place. There we go. Game two taken one and one a piece. But hey, both these teams had some master class. Now we can get match predictions. Two votes for Atlanta. One vote for Boston. 75 25. Here we go. Game two done. Time for game three. <sighs> three series today, three series tomorrow. Toronto versus Boston, or we'll winner this tomorrow. We have our winner's bracket final tomorrow, and then, or well, today. And then tomorrow we will have our good follow up. Bob shot gonna be just high, just high. And again, Ray's just gonna have to go ahead and cook. So he's able to find a tip. Flicked over one, through traffic, and it's good. So we'll play by Royce there. And you know, Royce able to just kind of cook, bought through one, and able to at least get the last second flick over the other, snuck it in top right. Boston already off to a hot start. Nurse is going to kind of clear that one out. Hope to pass up. Again, Nurse just tried to fake it, but no one there. He's going to kind of clear that one away and hope that his, you know, secondary shot. Nurse again just going to kind of clear that one. All the way down the pitch, just kind of waiting for it and waiting for him to get a good touch there. Again, tries to clap back. He's gonna be back down. Great starting in the rotation towards back post. 
So again, I already be waiting here. Net, we're just gonna hopefully go for a bump there. Bumped. I'm gonna find a bump towards one, and it's gonna be all the way down. It's gonna be a good 50. Contested 50. And it's finally in, Shizzy. We'll find it. Later tonight, we got New York Oakland. That game will be at 7 p.m. Eastern. That will end off, and then obviously we got two more games later tonight. Over traffic. <laughs> 